because of the the workforce uh, mandate. So it's just me working here at the at the shop pretty much every day except Sunday. Um, what we've done is we've set up uh, a curbside delivery website, pretty much uploading all our inventory every day, uh, so people can schedule a, a curbside pickup or option to have the product shipped to them. So uh, it's been keeping me busy, <laughs> mainly updating our POS. Oh, no, I can, uh, I can imagine. So time. just, yeah. just, just uh, I'm talking with, uh, I'm going to, sorry, I'm going to butcher your last name. So I'm just going to call you George. Just call me George. <laughs> yep, yep, I'm used to it. Uh, from Zombie Planet here in Albany. And we were just kind of uh, talking about, you know, the about the current situation and, uh, how he is a local business owner and comic uh, store was handling the um, is handling the situation. So, I mean, how, you know, just uh, give it again. So you are, do you, when things pick up, I mean, I guess, I think I saw diamond is starting to sh going to be starting shipping in May. Yeah. The, the, the current target date is May 20th. I'm sure that may or may not change, but right now, uh, some comics, not everything will start shipping May 20th. Uh, allegedly, like I said, anything could change from now till then. Um, but no new comics have shipped in the past 30 days, essentially. Um, game wise, half of my distributors are closed down in terms of getting board games and role playing games and miniatures. Um, we have been able to get some product. That's why uh, I've been able to stay open and restock and get some new releases. A lot of publishers have pushed new releases to the end of May because some stores across the country can't be open. So they don't want, you know, some stores to have an unfair edge over other stores uh, in terms of new releases. But uh, getting product has become tight the last few weeks, uh, especially stuff everybody wants that uh, even distributors are sold out on because manufacturers can't even ship stuff out to them. Uh, but in terms of comics, yeah, comics have been a complete shutdown the last 30 days. Um, now, I know you uh, said that you had to let your employees go once everything hit. Um, I mean, yeah, I know that you're also, we, yeah, well, temporarily, of course. Yep, yep. Um, and I know that, we, you know, from my times there, gaming is a big part of your store and having those people in there, how that must be also be having a impact. Yeah. On you. Um, a lot of, uh, you know, we like to pride ourselves for having a nice safe environment for everyone to come in and play and, and enjoy the games that we sell uh, and all the events that we do. But right now we can't have anybody, anybody in here. Uh, so all our events have been canceled. Um, we have run some virtual events. Um, like for example, my Hero Clicks uh, customers set up uh, a thing on one of the tabletop simulators so that they could play together. Uh, they've all reached out and played online. Uh, a lot of our board gamers are doing the same thing. Um, Magic has given us free codes to hand out every Friday, so that uh, so that um, the Magic players can play Magic online. Um, and you know, we just do what we can to get product to people and yeah. but unfortunately the event space is just closed um, so have you seen an up uptick in people buying stuff for their gaming needs because um, well i guess if they can't you know be with other people but i i virtually so, they you know, could probably work something out i guess yeah th there are some people who are gathering i've talked to a lot of our customers uh there are some people who are, who are gathering people they you know they know are safe and clean even though they should be social distancing uh there's just a lot of families too who are just playing at home uh we'll get people who order stuff every few days just to get something new in the house um but uh yeah i mean as we keep uh, uploading our inventory to our curbside site we've seen a huge increase in, in revenue come in uh every few days um as we upload our inventory, because people just want to get some stuff because they're getting stir crazy. Uh, our biggest movers are like board games and miniatures. People want to be painting at this time. It's, it's great. Uh, we're running out of paint and primer though. Our distributors are running low. Uh, <laughs> um, but the increase in people painting, like it's funny, a lot of people have been just getting into the hobby as well because they've got nothing to do at home. And uh, the amount of messages I've had people message us saying, how do we do this? You know, Sending them links to videos and stuff. Um, it's kind of nice because you know you're creating a new a new customer that way you know a, a lot of guys who are reading comics are now buying board games uh to play with their loved ones at home and um 
the same thing uh, applies to even the board gamers. Uh, they're like picking up comics because they want something to read. <laughs> So, uh, so that that's that'll that that'll be my next question. What are people you know picking up that you already have in you know stock comic wise? That what what's moving really well? Um, not individual books as as much, but uh, we're starting to upload our graphic novel inventory. Uh, and then we did a nice sale on our on our site, and people are just like, oh well, here's a chance to pick up something and read. Um, but uh, a lot of guys still want new stuff. I mean, that's that's the. <laughs> That's the nature, uh, unfortunate nature of the business. But there's nothing new to give them. Uh, feel free to call your <laughs> Yeah, uh, I have noticed some people pick up. They're trying out like new things. They're like, you know, oh, I'm caught up reading over the yeah. last month, and hey, let me try out, you know, the new Black Cat series. Oh, let me, you know, let me try, uh, you know, picking up uh, Bendis' Superman graphic novels to find out, you know, what the what the hype is about Bendis writing Superman. You know, yeah. so <laughs> I know, <laughs> same here, uh, but. Uh, but if you yeah. like to read a lot, then. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, but it's interesting. There is, you know, we, you know, we just started contacting, uh, you know, customers who, you know, who we haven't seen because, you know, they're quarantined, just giving them the heads up that, you know, sending out our newsletter and stuff saying, you know, comics may be shipping May 20th, so get ready. You know, so a lot of people are like, oh, we didn't even know you were open. It's like, you know, we, you know, we're, we're semi open. We're, you know, doing curbside and we're doing delivery. So. And I'm sure, like uh, many of us, you're uh, watching the daily briefings of. Oh, yeah. uh, so, what what do you foresee being your uh, in store once once you know everybody people are allowed to come in? What do you foresee your in store policy being? I mean, well, basically, we've been, I've been paying attention to what other stores and. And other states are doing across the country. I'm I'm lucky to be on various networks and, and groups with um, other stores across the country, and all of us are talking about what we're going to do when it opens. But it really, it's all varies from state to state. So we've got to see what what Cuomo's going to put restrictions on us uh, toward the end of the month. Um, we do right now. We're looking at not running any events uh, for the rest of May. Um, most likely we'll cap it to between six to 10 people in the store at a time uh, come the 15th, unless, you know, Cuomo mandates otherwise. Mm -hmm. uh, masks are going to be mandatory um, for the protection of my employees and, and myself and other customers. Uh, we started duct taping six foot blocks on the, on the carpet um, just to make sure everyone has space. Uh, I've seen it at like CVS and, and, and the grocery stores that I go to. So I'm like, well, this is a good idea. I can just get some, you know, duct tape and mark off our own floors. Um, uh, so and, you're, you're kind of going to run it like you run free comic book day where you let people in yeah, a little uh, bit. Of time. Amount, yeah. Like, like for example, right now we do curbside, but I only allow one person to come in the store at a time. For example, if they want to pay cash or if there's something not uploaded on the website, I only let one person in the store at a time, you know, mm -hmm. you know, for protect me and the customer. Um, right. And, you know, and I know some people don't like it because sometimes they show up with their significant other. And I'm like, I, I can only have one person in the store because, you know, when I ask for what restrictions I, I have to, to be able to be open and do this, that's what they gave me, you know. Um, but uh, yeah, like free comic book day, uh, which is unfortunately not going to happen until probably the fall now. Uh, that's the latest news from Diamond, uh, which was supposed to happen this weekend. I've already gotten phone calls and emails from people going, are you hosting free comic book day this weekend? It's like, no, do you not know what's going on? <laughs> um, but uh, yeah, we're just going to limit the amount of people that we have in the store uh, for May and then see how everything goes in June. Now, I don't know if you're... Do you go to, you know, the bigger cons like New York or? Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, what do you, what do you, what do you, what, what's your prediction for that? Well, because I know they already canceled San Diego. Yeah, they canceled San Diego. Um, I know Albany Comic Con locally uh, reached out to a bunch of us vendors and we suggested that they push it back even further. Uh, he wanted to open it up in June. Um, but we're like, you really, my, my advice was to push it back even further. Um, yeah, all the big shows, even the gaming shows, are all canceled. Uh, everything's got to wait until there's a, a viable vaccine or uh, better safety measures. Because I mean, we all want our stuff, but something like that is just, uh, you know, a powder keg waiting for. And I'm, and I'm 
getting ready to, I'm putting together a panel to talk about New York uh, Comic Con and specifically, but I, I kind of see this, see it as, even though it's in October, it's one of those things that, like Cuomo said, you can't have people coming in from other places and right. you, you're getting, for the, for shows like that, you're getting people coming in from everywhere. Yep. No, I, that, that's a thing you just don't know, you know. I'd like to, I'd like to see them pull off the six feet uh, at the Javits. Oh God, no! <laughs> That'll never happen. <laughs> which, which is another thing that's being used as a hospital now. I was just gonna say, you know, that just hit me too. I'm like, aren't they using it as a hospital right now? There's, <laughs> they're gonna really have to scrub that place down. Yeah. <laughs> so, um, well, thanks for taking you know a few minutes to talk to me. I know you probably want to you you open in a few minutes. So, um, yeah, no if problem. you want to, you know, tell people, you know, give. Give them where they can find your stuff, how they can get a hold of you if they need anything. Yeah, they, they can always just go to our, our website. Uh, from there, there's a link to our online store. Same thing with our Facebook page. Almost every post I make on social media gives a link to the, the curbside site. Uh, if not, they can just scroll back a little bit. Uh, but Or just email us or call us. Uh, we're only open, though, 11 to 4 uh, daily, except Sunday. I need a day off. Um, <laughs> true. <laughs> Uh, well, I'm usually here later, but I only keep the door open till four. And, if you're the only uh, one doing it, then yeah. Yeah. Um, <laughs> mainly because I still get deliveries and FedEx and UPS can deliver up to four o'clock because uh, we get deliveries almost every day. Um, yeah. So I got to be here. I, last thing I need is deliveries waiting outside and <laughs> disappearing. Uh, <laughs> with that going on lately too. But, um, but well, yeah, no, we appreciate all the support uh, people have been giving us the, over the last month. Uh, uh, one of the big requests was that we keep the site permanently because people, I mean, I've gotten people from Vermont and Massachusetts placing orders and they're just like, wow, it's nice to be able to see your inventory and without having to drive, you know, an hour or two um, and uh, then just come and pick it up when they're in the area. Because yeah. it's a nice drive to get out. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, but yeah, like I said, we appreciate what everyone's doing. We appreciate, you know, all the support and love that we've gotten and we can't wait to, open up so everyone can come back in. Uh, but we want everyone to be safe and, and be safe to each other as well. So, uh. All right. Well, I, hopefully we'll uh, see each other in person soon. Um, Probably. Well, good to see you virtually. <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, this is this is what I've, you know, I've really enjoyed doing the virtual stuff. And I, I enjoy seeing people in person, but, you know... <laughs> But again, uh, I'll include uh, links uh, in the notes to this. And uh, okay. again, stay safe, stay healthy, and uh, you glad to hear you're being able. You're able to do some business in you know this um, time of unprecedented time of uh, having to adapt. You know, on the fly. Oh, absolutely! Yeah, this is. Uh, I mean, we've been next month. We'll be celebrating our 18th year in business, and then you know. The way we look at it is this has taught us that we need to upgrade our software and, and our online presence, uh, even though we've been so busy just dealing with customers in store. But, you know, now I've upgraded our, you know, our point of sale system and now we have a website so that people can order and see our inventory. So we're hoping for another 18 years, you know, serving the community. So, so. Sorry, to, this question just occurred, occurred to me. What do you see? Do you see the, the industry, the comic industry as a whole changing Anyway, as a response to this, because once Diamond went down, you know, that was like kicking the cornerstone out of a bridge. <laughs> yeah, it, it, it did. Um, but everything's going to change, both, in, especially with when it comes to distribution. I mean, there's got to be uh, safeguards put in place after this. Uh, I've talked to many of our game distributors, and they're already going to adapt the way they process and do things so that if this does happen again, they'd be better prepared for it. So, you know, my one of my major distributors has been shut down since day one, you know, a whole month with nothing to be able to ship out from them. Um, wh whereas I have two other distributors in the Midwest and on the West Coast who are still shipping stuff out, you know, because they have certain safeguards in place. You know, Diamond's going to have to make sure this is all that, that all applies to all their warehouses so that this doesn't interrupt service for this long again. Um, but all businesses from manufacturing to distribution to retail are all adapting and learning from this. And, and like like I said, I know for, for a fact that if this happens again, uh, we, we'll be pr more prepared uh, to be able to service people faster. Um, but uh, it still stems to distribution. If distribution can't get the product out, 
you know, right. same thing like UPS and FedEx and the post office, you know, those guys come in every day and they love me because I'm giving them packages and giving them business, but they're just like, you know, got to, they got to make sure they're safe too, you know, yeah. um, Put the package down and step away. <laughs> yep. <laughs> That's my my FedEx driver does that too. He opens the door and just creeps the package in because <laughs> he doesn't want to come in. I'm like, dude, you're okay. You know, and he's like, no, but you know, he may, you know, he doesn't want to bring okay. anything in. I'm like, I get it. You know, um, well, I'm sure they probably have some protocols too. <laughs> they all have. Yeah. I've talked to them in length about it because, uh, you know, even my distributors too, they've done like, you know, my one distributor talks about how the warehouse staff isn't literally, literally the guys packing stuff are in hazmat suits and they make sure that the product that they ship to us is clean too. So, you know, mm -hmm. cleaning everything down before they even ship it to us, you know, it's, 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 you know, one reason why there's delays in some shippings, but, um, but yeah, it's an all new world out there. Well, again, sorry for de de derailing the uh, outro. Oh, no. <laughs> but, <laughs> so it's 11 o'clock, and I'm sure, um, like I said, you probably have uh, appointments that you need to keep, yeah, so yeah. I'll let you know. And, nope, so I again, appreciate it, Dad. Stay safe, and we'll talk to you, you know, as things evolve. All right. Thanks, man. I appreciate right. it. Right. Later.